All right, so let's get started here with a new project. So I'm going to come over here. I'm just going to start drawing. And uh, at this point, I'll just go to the room. All right, so right across the top, we'll do 20. Uh, and then 5 inches. And then along the sides, we'll do 30. And again, 5 inches. All right, so that just made up for the wall. And now we have a nice 20 by 30 interior area. All right, so let's dive in and start adding our doors and windows, okay? So I'm gonna come over here to the... All right, so let's get started adding our doors and windows now, okay? So I'm gonna come down here and just add a single door, and this will be the entrance coming in from the top. Uh, we'll flip, or I'm sorry, yeah, we'll flip that so that it's entering in. And that's going to be fine. All right, so the next thing I want to do is just uh, add a small. All right, so the next thing I want to do is just come down here, and I'm going to have this this wall over here on the far side basically be a huge window, okay? Um, and, and probably going to add a bit of a balcony eventually. But for now, let's just dress this wall up with uh, some windows, okay? So let's go first down here to the window. And I'm going to add one right here, right in the corner. Just give it a little, you know, actually, let's just start in the middle. And then I'm going to move it from there. Uh, basically, what I want this to be over here on the right, you can see I want the, the width uh, to be 10 or 9 feet. Okay. And we're going to move that over here. And let's just see how that's looking. So definitely not the window I'm going for, but uh, we just need to get this one in place so that we can replace it. Um, okay, so now let's make uh, the height. We need that to be 20 feet. And we don't, you know, we, we, we don't want to have it above the floor at all. So there we go. Now that's definitely not the style we're looking for, right? So let's go in here and just hit this replace button. Okay, so here's a here's a, a nice one. We'll just jump right to this one. Just a single pane going all the way up. And that should do it for us. Now let's duplicate this. Drag it over. And maybe we can have a little bit of a separation in the wall. Right about there. Let's see what that looks like. Awesome. So the next thing I want to do is add a small sliding glass window down here at the bottom to... Uh, I'm sorry, sliding glass door. So I'm going to need to raise this up a little bit. So let's switch, or let's 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 now go to reduce the height down to let's do 10 feet. All right. So now it's half the size, and now we can raise it up off the floor. And let's just do another 10 feet. Okay. So we're going to put the door underneath that. So let's now add a sliding door. And I think we can probably squeeze in a couple. Okay, so there's one. And we want this to be 10 feet, pretty much meeting the other frame. Maybe we can back off a little bit. Let's just go nine feet. All right, so that looks a little bit more realistic. Now let's add another one. Okay, so I'm gonna duplicate this, slide it over, and there we go. So it looks like we might need to make a little bit of room uh, and or move this window over to the left a little bit. So let's select that. And you notice that my selection is updated here. So let's just slide this over and make everything nice and clean. With just a small gap between the, the two on that side. So now that we have the windows in, let's go ahead and add that terrace out there just so we can kind of visualize things a little bit better. So I'm gonna grab the uh, the selection of uh, just creating a single wall, and let's go out. I don't know. Let's let's give us a nice, easy four feet. Whoops, four feet, and then we'll go across and then finish it off. Now you can see that it's created a 20 foot wall there, which is not what we're looking for. Uh, so let's go ahead and dwarf this wall. All right. So this is kind of the introduction to dwarfing, and we're gonna get into that a little bit more as we move forward. But I'm just going to hit escape and click on this wall. We're going to go to dwarf now. And you can see it's it's adjusted immediately down to uh, kind of a standard uh, size for a terrace. So 3 by 11, that, that works. 
I think that's good. That's a nice safe size and uh, let's stick with that. Now I'll leave the sides up so that we can have some privacy considering this is an apartment building or something like that. All right guys, well in this lesson you kind of learn how to set up a pretty dynamic uh, wall of windows. So uh, hopefully you got a lot from this tutorial. In the next tutorial we'll dive right in and start designing the interior and creating the loft. All right, I'll see you there.